All right, hey, what's up, guys? Coach Mack, play fast football. All right, sorry I haven't done a lot of videos lately during the uh, coronavirus pandemic, but I've been doing some YouTube live stuff. I've done some chalk war, some Zoom calls, and some other things, and now that we get back almost ready to play football again, hopefully we'll have some, uh, some things that we can talk about as far as X's and O's and some of the things that we're trying and some of the things that we're doing uh, moving forward with our season. I hope everybody's safe out there. I hope you're all doing okay. Um, if you're in a state that has pushed football back or said that fall, uh, fall sports will not be played, I apologize to you. Uh, we'll find out uh, today at about 5 o'clock, somewhere around there, what we're going to do with our football season in Florida. So um, let's get back to doing some of these videos and get back to uh, sharing and helping each other with some information to help us make better football coaches, all right? or make us better football coaches. I remember some of our sponsors. Okay, we've got GameStrat, which is a sideline replay system we use. Uh, if you're looking for a highly reliable, highly affordable sideline replay system, check out GameStrat. Baker Sports is a company that I use to outfit my team and my coaches for spirit packs and coaches gear and our Adidas uniforms that we wear. This is one of our uh, Baker Sporting Goods um, shirts that they did for us. Great local company. I love supporting local businesses and they've got great consistent sales reps um, and, and good customer service. So I love uh, dealing with Baker Sports. All right, Defensive Coordinator One, which is an in-game app that allows you to make critical in-game adjustments based on actual live in-game data. So instead of charting stuff or uh, talking with coaches about what you think you're, is actually hurting you from what formations and what runs are hurting you. You actually get the information. You get the data. Match it up with the things that you're calling and now go back and make solid, uh, really critical in-game adjustments based on the things that are actually happening. So take the guesswork out. Uh, Just Play Football is the uh, digital designing tool or play uh, playbook software that I use to diagram plays and draw plays up. If I am ta uh, speaking at a webinar or have to speak at a clinic somewhere, I will use Just Play, but it's also a, a um, software tool that helps educate your players on your game plan and your playbook. It's got quiz features and a lot of other great things, so make sure you check out Just Play Football. All right, Difference USA, the ultimate striking machine. All right, yeah, great in a time like this because you're working on striking with elbows in, thumbs up, and you're doing it against a dummy that can be attached in your weight room or out on a football field. Don't have to worry about social distancing. One person can go. You can clean the dummy down before the next person puts their hands on it. Great machine, ultimate striking, elbows in, thumbs up, thousands of reps. Don't need a partner. Great during a pandemic, all right, that we are dealing with right now. High and tight, which is a... Uh, training aid, which is a football that, that makes a sound and beeps when you hold a football. It's got points of pressure and it's got all right, uh, things in there that you have to apply properly with your wrist in the right position, points of pressure from the forearm all right, into the rib cage to the wrist, up against the chest. You have to have the ball physically high and tight or the ball will not beep and make the sound that it needs to make when you are holding it properly. So to me, it's an amazing uh, amazing tool to teach kids how to hold the ball properly because they know as soon as they're doing it right because they hear the beep. If they don't hear the beep, they know that they're doing it wrong. Ball security is job security. All right, why not get a tool that actually lets you hear when you are doing it right? So check out high and tight. And then Dome Hats, which is the official headwear sponsor of Play Fast Football and, and one of our major sponsors at our clinic last year. Uh, we did some work with them over the pandemic, giving away uh, some question of the day stuff. Great company. Custom online hat builder, custom hats, beanies, and visors. Every hat has a story. Why don't you let Dome help you tell yours? All right, today I wanted to do a little video All right, on if you are uh, facing um, middle of the field open, two high safety teams that like to play pattern match, here's a way to get one of your better players in a slot. All right, a chance to get one of your better players in a slot on an option read, okay, to put him in, himself in the best situation against an outside linebacker. All right, and we do it off of a ram read, in other words, a read away from Mike. So we're going to work in two by two, and we're going to push our tail back in motion. And if we're playing against a split field coverage team that we think is a pattern match team, all right, we are going to read off the drop of that mic because normally if they're pattern match, the mic will work to the side that the back pushes so that when the down safety or the outside linebacker pushes with width to the back, the mic now has to find the new route in there. So we're going to run version of stick to the front side. So we're going to run the kind of hitch stick route here, all right, where we're going to settle, all right, three big, two little for us, all right, turn inside or outside depending on the coverage and where the immediate defender uh, uh, on you is. We're not going to move too much because we're pushing the back in the flat. So we're, we're going to have a little bit uh, of leeway for that guy to find a window to get open, all right, but because we're pushing the back wide of him, we don't want him really ripping and running outside. He can drift a little bit, but we don't want him ripping and running out there. And we're going to send the number one vertical on this side, 
okay, so that we're going to read away from the mic. So we're going to see if the mic pushes, and we've talked about it on my YouTube site before about read away from mic stuff with levels and other things backside. So um, the read away from mic is to see if the mic pushes this way, then we know we've got numbers on the backside. Now, based on the pattern match coverage, all right, that we play, that we know when other teams are playing it, how to kind of go after it a little bit. When this back pushes away, this wheel on the backside is going to have to wall off, all right, that number two receiver simply because the mic is drifting. Sorry, guys, let me get my marker. So that if, if the mic pushes this way, all right, so that these two underneath guys can match. So if the, if the, if the nickel or apex pushes to the back and the mic pushes to the stick, all right, the wheel linebacker knows that he cannot let that two cross his face and get in here to the middle of the field because it's going to cause that defense a lot of problems right there. So what we're going to do on the back, on the back side is we're going to give this slot, who for most people is usually one of your best players, one of your best route runners, somebody that you want to get the football to, we are going to put that slot on a one-on-one -on -one choice route on that wheel linebacker. And we're going to see if we can attack him and beat him across his face on what some people would call a shave route. All right, I've called it a win route before because we're telling him, all right, that if he can win inside, then he's going to get vertical and he's going to get a chance to get the football. So we're trying to get him to win inside. All right, you can call the route whatever you want. It, it's, it's all logistics. It really doesn't matter. Bottom line is we're going to give him the choice off that will and how that will plays. We're going to give him the choice to either get inside on the win or the shave or run the pivot back outside and we're going to clear out all right, with our number one receiver to that side to get that corner out of there. And now we're going to work one-on-one -on -one with that Will linebacker based on how he wants to play. Now, most of the time, if it was our defense, I would expect that Will linebacker to be real heavy inside and not let that guy cross his face on the win or the shave. So we would have to end up running the pivot all the time. But if he's so heavy inside, worried about getting his face crossed, because again, like I said, if the mic pushes here with the Sam, the problem that defense is going to have is there will be nobody in that area right there, and that ball will rip, all right, for a long time if it gets completed in there. So you know on the back side of that pattern read, palms to read coverage, you know that that guy has to cut that number two and not let him cross his face, especially with the number three tailback working away from him. He has no threat for leverage. Nobody's going to get outside of him from this formation right now with the back going away, so he knows he can sit heavy inside. If we can get him... When we attack him, if we can get him square, or if we can get his hips to flip maybe a little bit and beat him inside on the win or the shave route, that's the ball that we love to throw. Okay, so what we're doing is we're building in off of our normal stick theory out here. We could even run three-man snag out here. You could do it off a bunch of different things. We're building in a read away from the mic, all right, with a slot option or a slot choice route that gives us a vertical win on a shave route and it gives us an easy throw back outside on a pivot route. All right, what that's going to do is, of course, you're trying to get the ball to some of your best players in space. You're trying to have easy completions. You're trying to take advantage of the way the defense plays. This is something that I've always talked about. All right, as uh, sorry if you hear that airplane overhead, I'm on my porch outside at home. Uh, something that I've always talked about as an offensive coach is you have to understand how other teams play defense and you have to attack the structure of defense that they play. So if other teams play pattern match, all right, uh, palms coverage or two read coverage, you have to understand what the rules of the pattern match are, which means you've got to study more as an offensive coach. You have to understand what the rules of the pattern match are, and then you have to understand how to do things to attack those rules to get yourself into advantageous situations. Because then what's going to happen is you're going to force them away from the back. When you start doing read away from Mike stuff, you're going to force them to either play man coverage, cover two, or something else. All right, for instance, let me just draw this up just so you can kind of understand. If, if, if you've, you could force them to get into cover two, why would they do that? Because now when they're in cover two, all right, when this guy drops to the hook or the curl, he can stay inside of the shave route. If they run, if the offense comes back to run the pivot, all right, so the wheel can handle the shave route. The pivot goes to the corner. The vertical goes back to the safety over there. All right, so hard cover two, traditional cover two, is a little bit better against this option route, okay? But now their, their force to that side in the run game is, is a little bit weak, and there's some other things in the passing game. All right, so what happens is it's a cat and mouse game. You can get them to change the coverage they're playing on the backside because this read away from Mike theory is abusing 
their pattern match pattern read coverage so you get them to change their coverage which allows you to do other things all right so if you are playing a middle of the field open pattern match palms to read team this is a great way to get your slot involved on the slot option read away from mike would stick front side very simple concept front side all right we would have slide it with our line and, and we would have hot throws off the mic and and uh, the outside backer here one of two ways to do it with the quarterback okay the quarterback all right can either one step quick game and then reset his feet if he reads away from the mic or you could go with a punch three that we use sometimes where we punch three to get a read on the mic so when that back foot hits the ground balls either got to go to the hitch or the flare if the mic has went that way when the back foot hits the ground we work backside there i think you can do either one you can one step reset you can punch three punch three some people would argue is not quick enough to get the ball to the stick side over here if, if stick is considered quick game I can agree with that at times, but I like that footwork better so that when that back foot hits, if the mic has gone that way, that gave my quarterback plenty of time to read the mic. Mic has gone away, back foot hits. We're going right now to the shave or the option route on the backside. Time's up pretty good for us. Have to work on getting the ball out of his hand quickly on punch three to this side, but it's worked well for us. Drops are what they are. They have to time up with the receivers. They have to, uh, they have to be in accordance with the protection. So we're a half slide team. We would have hot reads built in since the back is out. And if the mic or the Sam came, we would have to throw the stick or the push flare. So we have those answers built in. We know what we got to do if we get pressure. So we're fine with the punch three step. All right, guys, feels good doing videos again. Hopefully we can start doing a bunch of them in the future. All right. Uh, appreciate everything you guys have done for me. Appreciate everything you've done for PlayFest now. We are 500 subscribers away from 20,000. The goal was 20K in 2020. So help us get to uh, 20,000 subscribers. And then tonight I'm going to be on live at 830 doing a video about developing uh, football players and install and things you need to know about your install moving into camp. All right, guys, as always, you won't play well until you play fast. I'll see you next time.